How many colors do you usually uh, have out? Or does it depend on the, uh, the subject? I don't know, maybe about 15 and then sometimes I'll have a little more. <clears throat> Other artists will work with what they call a limited palette, so they keep it at the primary colors and they mix their other colors from that. Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't, I don't know, I prefer having, I think the colors are more pure from the two than the mixed ones. And, you know, even, if, even with mixing, um, you know, because there's cool blues, cool greens, cool reds, and warm of each of those different. So if you mix, say, a Say you want to make a purple from red and blue, and you mix a warm red with a, a cool blue or something like that, you could end up with a muddy purple. Okay. You know, whereas, you know, purple, like I have a dark purple here and a, another type of purple, and these are, that's a form of a purple, mm -hmm. all with varying degrees of blues and reds in them. Are just more pure from the tube, and it's just a it's a lot more colorful. I just prefer it. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to leave you to uh, create your masterpiece, and uh, when we come back, we're going to see this uh, <laughs> blank uh, canvas. Now, is this wood? This is masonite. Masonite. Okay. And I've I've painted over another. Color. This this orange can be a base. I don't always go with an orange base coat, but sometimes I will for fun. Okay. Well, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>